Le pain surprise. <laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Bertinet, and today I'm in Gosnay Kitchen. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make the pain surprise. It's one of my favorite things ever. If you like cheese, cream, eggs, lardon, like a big, big fondue inside your bread, that's what we're going to do now. So to make this, I got a big sourdough. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I make it with some leeks, a bit of shallots, a lot of cheese, of course, creme fraiche, potatoes, and lardon. So the first thing we're going to do is to put our lardon with a tiny bit of oil in a hot pan in here. Now the trick with this is to cut the slice, but not all the way down. So we start at the end in here. You go all the way, just so it's holding together. Two days old large loaf is better, so it's slightly drier. It will suck up all the all the cream there. So that's what I've got in here. Just all holding on together, like a pack of card. Accordion, yeah. Bacon still going, and it just caramelized nicely. I'm gonna add the shallots now to this and gently cook it together. So I'm gonna make the mixture now. So I've got two eggs in here. Creme fraiche, you can use double cream, creme fraiche is lovely. Get a sharp knife out of it. And beat it up gently with a spoon so it stays together, it doesn't get too liquid. I'm gonna add some pepper, some good salt. Don't be shy with the nutmeg. You really bring the flavor of the dish. So that's ready now. So the shallot just start to soften and the leeks gonna go in now. I really don't want to overcook the leeks. So it's really stirring everything together. So I use Roblochon. It's a perfect cheese for that. It's just really smelly. It holds its shape nicely. You can use um, some Conte or so, or any cheese you really like and do a mixture. And now I'm ready to assemble everything. That's the fun part. So the leek just soften a little bit, but they don't cook through. So they keep their color and a bit of bite. I'm gonna start with two big bits of bacon parchment. And you make a cross for that. Then we press the loaf on the top. I'm going to start loading between each slice. So I'm going to put some potatoes. There's no rule. You can put as much as one as you want, but you want a bit of everything between each slice. This is a carb feast. I'm going to put the leeks and bacon all between the slices as well. I'm salivating everywhere. It's beautiful. Put some silver foil underneath. So I'm going to transfer the cream into a jerk so I can pour it over the slice. Spray this over the top and push it a little bit inside. Load it with cheese. You want everything to melt. This is so bad. <laughs> so, so good. I'm always excited when I do this all the time. I'm never, never bored of this one. Now I'm going to wrap it up, make it all nice and cozy inside some foil and pepper. There we go. That's ready for the oven now. Right, it's time for the pain surprise. Let's get it out of the oven. It's a beast. Smell, I can't even tell you. Right, you can add a tiny bit of truffle on top. It's quite nice. So, voila, your pain surprise. Look at this. Uh, stirring. All the bread is soaked with the potatoes, the leeks, the shallots. It's all coming apart beautifully. Full of flavor. So you say this is a big green salad, now a sharp dressing. It's like your raclette inside a loaf of bread. So hot still. Mm. Need some wine now. Some good wine. Perfect. Happiness. Hey buddy. Thanks man. Wow. <laughs> so where's the You want some? Cheesy I'm mouth. <laughs> So that's the pain surprise. For the recipe and the know-how, go on Gosnay website, gosnay.com, and then you can see how it's done. Bon appétit. That was beautiful to watch. Uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs>